Hey viewers, what's going on? Welcome back to more Wario Land for the Game Boy and exclusive for GameAnyone.com So, we are starting officially the second to last world of the game Big spoilers, not really I think I already commented How many worlds this uh, game has This is the official world of the forest. We already dealt with this uh, type of level before in the previous world. I here officially are playing forest levels, which become tedious at some point because I have to deal with quite a few of those from here on up to the end of the game. Good thing about this particular world is that it offers a series of uh, different type of types of levels at least two or three different types of level which doesn't make it that repetitive as you can suppose at first you probably remember I was uh, dealing with these rota rotating things in, in the previous world even but now they have spikes coming from the trees apparently or falling from the trees This should be midpoints. What's the point of putting a ladder in there? Why don't they just put the the midpoint thing right next to the door? In this case, I prefer to just wait for this uh, spiky thing. I can be just be fast as well and swim through this area very quickly before the spiky ball hits me like in this case as you can see. Timing, basically. But most of the time I just prefer to wait. Um, I want this. Yeah, why not? It's very slow underwater. That was very close. And this one I prefer to wait. I cannot rely on my power up right now. I insist it's pretty slow underwater. Nice. Right on time. And there you go, that's the end of the level. However, you will be eventually revisiting this level. You will see how and why. That was very fast. Four more treasures to go, four, I mean two of those are in this world and then remaining two in the last world. This is what it was uh, pretty much telling you about, this idea of dealing with different types of levels, not being repetitive in that sense, this world. Some more card action. We actually played a level like this in the lava area, as you can remember. There aren't so many differences between that level and this one. As you can see, the same type of enemies even. Probably the... well, of course, the environment is different, no more lava. No, no more of those bots, but we have these uh, birds instead, which are basically the same thing. I can skip some sections of the level by just using the jets. This one doesn't have any secret exit. I mean, I, as a matter of fact, I don't have to be deal sorry, with more secret exits for the rest of the game. Alright, that was a very short level, and as you will see, instead of having the typical door, which uh, is uh, the exit, we're gonna see another gigantic switch. That was a fucking weird glitch. And as you know, these uh, switches basically change something from the map. As you can see, all the water is getting drained. It's going away from the forest. Now it's a dry pond. Which basically means that the previous level, which had lots of water and that makes total sense uh, it's supposed to be revisited since you will see the changes 
and there is obviously one specific reason for me to be revisiting this level. Even the music changed. As you can see, there is a ladder there, which is now activated. I don't wanna waste so much time in collecting things. I think I'm missing something here. Jet and the key, of course, which is what I need. The whole point of revisiting this level, as you might have figured out by by now already, uh, is basically to get the treasure. Use your key wisely. You can kill enemies with it. Very practical. Oh, that was kind of close. Remember, you cannot perform your special ability, flying, if you don't get rid of the key first. I prefer to skip all of this. If you can, of course, kill the enemies. Uh, I think it would be a little bit easier instead of breaking all of these things and, and leaving the key behind. Just take the ladders and take your time. It's more of a benefit actually because you get even more coins than just destroying those blocks and instead of climbing. Which doesn't take that long as you can see, I'm pretty much done with this area. I don't wanna fuck it up right now. Oh shit. Could I kill the guy in the first try? And here we have Star. Better chance for me to go even faster and kill more enemies. Remember one enemy I killed with a star thing? It's basically uh, the equivalent of grabbing a heart. I actually need the horns for me to break that one. And as you can see, the treasure is right there. I'm pretty sure I can get the power up by backtracking a bit. I didn't remember that little detail. I'm gonna end up breaking these things. Well, now it's kind of necessary to save your uh, some time, right? I think this is the one, but I would prefer to get rid of this guy first. Pretty annoying. This should be the one. There we go. It's gonna go a little bit slower unless I do this all the time. All day, every day. Uh, we pretty much made it. The treasure is located pretty much at the end of the level. And there we go. Three more treasures to go. A clown face. <clears throat> That's letter L. And I think you have to take the ladder which is right next to to a treasure door and the exit is right here. You still have the chance to get quite a few coins as well. More than a hundred is pretty good in, in a single level. Usually can get up to 200 even in a boss battle so... I definitely see this revisiting as a benefit. Okay, the next level is pretty much probably my tip, favorite type of level in the entire game. And that's one of the reasons I like this world, as I was mentioning before, because you you not only play it in the forest as such, which are kind of boring levels, but also cards and trains. Also, the music is pretty catchy. But yeah, when you get inside the train, it starts moving. How do you know that? Basically because of this effect, you can notice in the background like little shaking. But also, because of this, auto-fucking scrolling. I know, you can say, but how can you love this? Everyone hates auto-scrolling. Yeah, but this is easy first of all. And I could have gotten the jet, anyway. Uh, it's kind of strange, I mean going from right to left in an auto-scrolling is not very common in video games. But I insist, it's extremely easy in general terms. Needless to mention, if you fall onto the railroad, you are pretty much dead. You are fucked. There's nothing to worry about. My only piece of advice, if you will, is to kill these ducks quickly. 
before they throw the boomerang, of course. There's a mid point even here, so... Trust me, this level is not terrible. At all. Okay, flames. I think I'm gonna be dealing with some birds in the previous... I mean, in the next uh, section. Let's take a look. It's a lot easier this way, anyway. You know, breaking these things and gathering shit is completely optional. You can get a squish, of course, if you are not fast enough. It's up to you, if you are a coin whore or a hard whore like myself, go ahead and try it out. It's not hard at all. Of course, in this case, I'm gonna keep the flame going... ...for safe coin grubbing. That was a little bit of a risky jump, not gonna lie. And I think that's it. There are two auto scrolling sections, and the rest is pretty much like the introduction to the level itself and this when you get off the train. Of course, with the flames now, it's a lot easier to get rid of the dogs, and you don't even have to pay for getting the door open. Very practical. We certainly have time for one more level. <clears throat> this big tree. Probably an annoying thing about this level is uh, having to deal with this annoying cloud. I think I made a little mistake killing that guy, I don't know. Probably not, because in here we're gonna be dealing with this uh, bird. There's another cloud in here. I forgot about that. And I killed the Spearman by accident. Yeah, try to get one of these guys, not killing him. Oh, I'm probably lost. It's probably not this part I was referring to. But you, you, you with, deal sorry with those birds that give you lots of coins, you know? These big coins that worth 10 of the regular ones. You probably remember those. I'm not sure if it was in the previous section or the next section, or probably I'm getting completely confused with the level. 40 lives, not bad. Aha, uh -huh, this is the one. Let's see if you can make it. I usually make this mistake. It's, I don't even know if it is a mistake. Problem is that the bird goes away and... No, I fucked it up. Yeah, I went away. Uh, and again, the same thing. Shit, I ended up getting rid of all the enemies. You know what? I don't care. I don't think the enemies respawn. No, they don't. Alright, you will definitely need the jet power up. Basically, because the next treasure is located in this particular level. So you want to keep it. Um, I think you have to go to this side first. I mean, doesn't really matter, you will see why. Oh, ne never mind. But do not get rid of the jet. Keep it until the very end. I hate these guys. Just got to get the fuck out and let me win the video game. Yeah, get in this door, which is going to lead you to the end of the level. But, this block is going to give you the key. Well, the normal thing is to go down, I mean, uh, down the ladder and do all the process swimming from one side to another for, me to, for you to go to another door. But instead, make this big jump. Oh, I fucked it up? Really? Oh, I made a mistake, I think. Um, let me think what I did wrong. Um, oh, okay, I should have taken the other door instead. Aha, makes sense now. Little bit overconfident. Yeah, I actually want to do another thing. Never mind. I'm gonna solve it real quick, you will see. Yeah, take this uh, side, which is the easiest one to go through. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. 
But yeah, this is the other side, and of course, this is the door where you get a treasure and all that. But you have to go to the other side. That's why you need a jet power over here. See? And you get to the very end, get the key and all that. Um, dude, we're in the same situation as before. How did I do it before? Pro oh, probably I needed to make the jump from above the, the block itself. Which I didn't do before, there we go. That's how you do it. Actually, what I did before wasn't a bad idea. But it is a lot easier if you take the other door and just use the jet thing afterwards. A baseball glove seems to be the next treasure. Letter M. And now just uh, get the fuck out and use the jet again for you to get to the exit and the level is done. Uh oh. I have a little problem right here. Money. I need money. I have 9 coins and I need 10. Um, what can I do in this case? Backtrack. I didn't expect this problem actually. Just get one more coin. Couple more, I don't know. But I have enough for me to live. Usually I don't have this trouble with the lack of coins, except when I die. I have to be paying attention to that. In case I lose lives, lose lives uh, in a midpoint or whatever. Okay guys, that is all for the time being. Next time I'm gonna be finishing this world for sure because there are a couple more levels to go through. I'm gonna be starting of course playing the last of the worlds of this game. So thanks a lot for watching, see you next video.